Welcome back, folks, to some more Inquisitor! Or you inquisit people. Inquisitorily. With inquisitiveness. Alright, well, hell. We got a couple more lands we can explore. Let's go. Level 14. Check out this Asher Bolt place. I got this. Holy Majoli! Stop talking to me! How many times have you guys done that? Accidentally clicked on your uh, companion. Spiders in this fucking place. There it goes. Got that poison. Oh goddamn party is poisoned. That shit is so fucking annoying. Holy shit! get poisoned. I don't care. Poison the whole party. Oh, no one told me I could combine my quivers. Pretty nifty. Alright, so we can do uh, regular arrows up top. Here we go with the organization shit. Oh my god. What's going on? Oh my god! Oh Jesus. I'm terrible at organizing. Look! 
piss poor. Just couldn't be one more space, could there? Frost and fire we'll put there. Lightning and poison. Oh, I see. Plus six fire damage. Got a ton, man. I just want regular arrows for now. Very cool, you can stack up to 50. It'd be even cooler if you could just stack them all and be done with it. But I understand. Gotta be somewhat realistic. Alright, we're checking out Asher Bolt. So far, it's just wimpy bats and. All is well on the armor front. Alright, here's the right edge. Uh oh! Oh shit, is that, a, is that my first orc? I'm excited, folks. I'm so excited. I'm gonna kill me a green skin. Oh yeah, saving. I just took out a barrel. That's the smart way to do it. Holy sheep shit! this. Are these a bunch of orcs sleeping in here? You've got to be shitting me. Or no, that's just moss on the roof, right? Anyways, they're weak as hell. Probably supposed to come here first. Oh, they run! I'm digging this shit, yo. I'm digging it. <sighs> Here I am clicking and clicking and clicking on the bow. And he does it automatically. Orcish head? You cut off the warrior's heads? That's fucking dope. I love decapitating orcs. My favorite pastime. get in these little places. Can I burn them down? That's my favorite part of the, the Might and Magic series is when you find the encampments of the monsters and you burn them down for massive experience. Love that shit. What the hell is that thing? It's cute. Oh, Jesus Christ. to get arachnophobia from this damn game. Orc worker. Oh, you guys are getting butt screwed.
Haha, uh -huh, you won't be bringing any resources back to base. <laughs> For a moment I thought I was playing Warcraft. Lug Lug! What do you think I got the name Lug Lug? I converted it from Zug Zug. Locked! I don't think so. Knock knock! Come and knock on our door. Gonna kill some orcs. Thinking about doing an Inquisitor song. Hey, Alfnard! Stay right where you are, Sir Knight! One more step and I'm going to kill you! I don't care anything anymore! I'm not going to be taken back to Hilbrand! Calm down and tell me who you are and why you're raising your weapon! My name is Ulfgard! Look at this. Is that is that Alfnard? Or is that because the H is off the screen? Anyways. But why the hell do you care who I am? And I'm raising my weapon because I don't like you finding me! So you are Ulfgard. You're supposed to have killed the merchant Stefan Eichmann's daughter. Yeah, that's me. So you've heard about it, haven't you? And I suppose you believe it as well, like everyone else. But I'm innocent, Sir Knight. I didn't touch a single hair on Natalia's head. She was kidnapped by Julian. He probably wanted her father's money, I guess. I was just unlucky to catch him in the act. First it looked like he was going to try to kill me, but the girl was there, so he gave me some of her jewelry to keep me quiet. So I thought, why not? It's not my problem anyways. And I took the jewelry. But when I tried to sell it, someone recognized it, and they immediately put me into prison to wait for Duke Weinberg to deliver judgment. If you're innocent, it will eventually come to light. So there's nothing to be afraid of. Are you kidding, Sir Knight? Do you expect me to think that everything will turn out good? That somebody will come out of the blue saying, Leave him alone! He's innocent! They will execute old Lance Neck if they're killing a fly. And they'll just keep laughing at it. And later they'll find out he was innocent. They'll say, He certainly committed many sins and crimes. He deserves such punishment anyway, so why bother? I'll prove that you are wrong. I'm going to prove your innocence. But if you're lying to me... I can't believe you would be interested in proving my innocence, but if you propose it, I'm going to trust you. Prove me innocent, find Julian, and tell Duke Weinberg. We have a deal. I'm investigating crimes of faith here in Hilbrand. Do you suspect anyone? Crimes against faith, you say? You mean like catching heretics? I've seen many strange things in my life, you know. It's always been a wild region, but I don't remember anything like the things happening since the scourges of God struck. People just went crazy. Take, for example, Baroness Lynn Van Galliam. I always seemed to be orthodox faithful, and now she's supposed to be colluding with Satan. Why? What happened? The night I ran away from town, it was the night of the Greenskins' attack. I hid here in Ashabot. Before I could get some rest, I saw the light of torches through a window. I thought it was the guards who were after me, but I was wrong. It was an odd parade, a bunch of Greenskins and Baroness Van Galliam with them. They were walking toward the Iron Mines, and she didn't seem to be going with them against her will. It almost looked like they were protecting her. Really strange, I must say. Are you sure it was Baroness Linda Van Galligan? It was dark, wasn't it? Well, not totally sure that's true, but most likely it was her. Where can I buy some goods in Hilbrunt? You want to go shopping? Try Best Buy. Oh, I... Well, if you need weapons, go to Victor Hammerhand. I shop there myself, and I can confirm that his services are great. When it comes to potions and spells, I'd recommend Alyssa Werdenroth. If you don't make her mad, the same applies to the astrologist and alchemist, Theo Brechtol. He's an old grouch when it comes to it. Father Dominicus, on the other hand, should be willing to help you any time, but I don't go to him too often. He always wants to know is the last time I confess, and blah blah blah. And there's the innkeeper, Joseph Truthorn, or the stall holder, Susan Brachna. I always got rid of everything I had on me, and I didn't need any more with them. You can also buy all kinds of things here, but their prices aren't too good. Sometimes you have no choice. What do you think of the crisis that's spreading throughout the realm? The times are pretty rotten, that's true. God knows whether they're the truth to talk about the end of the world, but it looks like it. Devils, heretics, and all this filth everywhere you look, it's not good. I've never seen the locals so scared and desperate. If you believe it, it can get better. What kind of monsters can you encounter in Hilbrandt and its surroundings? You can find all kinds of monsters here, Sir Knight. From the overgrown spiders with deadly poison, to huge trolls with skin made of stone, and beech logs instead of bones. Trolls are responsible for innumerable murders and disappearances because the way they wait at roads and jump at you without giving you a chance to realize what the hell's going on. 
They've always lived here, but there weren't many of them. They're said to be living at the tops of the mountains and coming down very often. But in the past few years, there were crowds of them coming down, and the foothills are not safe anymore. So I tell you, Sir Knight, beware the trolls. Is it possible to get any reward here in Hilbert for killing monsters? Duke Weinberg offers good rewards for killed orcs. The scourge Sheriff Canterbury pays them out. Has something unusual happened here lately? What do you mean, asking if anything unusual has been happening in the past three years? The famine? The plague? The reign of fire? Heretic cults? Monster worshipping? Beasts go everywhere you go? Inquisition witch hunts? So many unusual things have happened that I should sum it up in one sentence. I should say we're all in deep sheet. Don't blaspheme. Trouble! Master D Edmund Diavias is suspected of heresy. What do you think about it? Master Edmund Diav... A heretic who knows what the truth is. And first of all, does it matter? They will execute him without any remorse if he's completely innocent. Look at me. What I got into? Accused of robbery with murder before I could say amen? I haven't done anything. The Monstrance of St. Orthenius has disappeared. Do you know anything about it? I don't know anything about the Monstrance of St. Orthenius, and I really hope no one tries to pin it on me. I wouldn't be surprised after what happened because of Natalia Reichman. Do you know anything about the disappearance of Bishop Quintinus? Unfortunately, I don't know anything about Bishop Quintinus. I didn't kidnap him, that's all I can say. I'm investigating the theft of Master Edmund Diavaris' sword. Do you know anything about it? You know, what's interesting, Sir Knight, every time something gets lost, the first person everyone asks is me. As if it was me who steals things in town. Other people steal as well, Sir Knight, believe me. Even the Duke steals, because what else can you call taxes as high if not theft? I tell you something, they should start hunting the thieves against nobility and not amongst the poor who have nothing. Uh, this might be a stupid question, but do you know how to remove a curse? I have no idea how to remove a curse, but I know plenty of ways to deal with the one who cast the curse. But you're not interested in that, I guess. Are there any tales or legends connected to Hilbrandt or its surroundings? Of course there are local legends connected to Hilbrandt, Sir Knight. And you know what? When the time is right, we'll make a fire, catch a deer, open a barrel of beer, and I'll tell you a legend. But right now, I'm not in the mood. Sorry. Do you know anything about the death of Merchant Kurtholmier? Kurtholmier's murder is an ugly case. I knew him a little. We used to talk now and then in Two Thorns Inn, where he rented in the attic. He was interested in all kinds of stories from the time I was in the army. He said it gave him information useful in the business, whatever it was. I'm sorry about his death. He cut his throat like he was a hen. And I heard the murderers also cut off his dick and put it in his mouth. A bad ending, that's what I call it. I love how every guy you talk to has a different name for the fucking dude's genitals. Fucking great, man. Uh, I don't know if the translator is <laughs> meant for it to be that funny, but dialogue is just A-plus in this game. The murderers, there were more people. How do you know? I mean, this, this is perfect for me. Perfect for me. Of course, I don't know how many murderers there are. I said murderers because Kurt was very careful and he wasn't a beginner who let someone cut his throat in his sleep. He was good with blades. There must have been more of them, but it's just my opinion. Who rules Hilbrandt in the surrounding areas? Duke Weinberg, who is the royal governor. The vice governor is Baron Robert von Gallian. What should I say about him? A couple of dickheads. Damn rich bastards. That's all. Farewell. Alright, so after exhausting that exhausting dialogue, First thing we'll do is save. I actually enjoy reading this game. The dialogue is uh, definitely cool. Alright, let's open some barrels. Not trapped. Yes. I might bumble into certain things at first, but I learned. Kite these damn spiders to death. I need to give me a fabulous bow that I can use.
30 damage. Not too bad with a regular arrow. And when they slow down, you know they're about dead. I guess I could shoot yellow. Oh fuck, he poisoned me anyways. Alright, well I'm poisoned. Lead the charge. Charge of the Light Brigade. By Ron Stock Longshanks. Searching for secrets. I want to find the secrets. I'm attacking you because you're a nasty bitch. Sweet. Alright, so my dog got poisoned. What's new? I just leveled, so I should automatically go to Journeyman on Melee, which as you can see, I am. That's what I call Pimpalicious. Oh man, did my fucking boots break? Son of a bitch, and I can't, I can't heal those. Son of a bitch. Looks like I'm gonna have to pay to get those fixed. All right, let's go ahead and just dump some of my intelligence before I regret it. I need to get some points for crying out loud. So I need to get that up to uh, 18. So two, three more levels and I can get that up to 18 if I focus on it. That's not too bad. Then I can ignore it. Because all these spells just require 18 and then I can, if I want to get into the magic, which really I'm just going to go for levitation at first, uh, I can start pumping some shit into it. Shield use, need to be 18, uh, no, level, yeah, level 22, let's see, what about armor use, level 18, that's coming up, need to get that up to skill level, we're going to want to have that up to 11, and we're going to need 50 strength, that's okay, we'll take care of that. By level 18, not a problem. Probably not going to put any more into ranged. I'll go ahead and hang on to that point for now. Alright, so I'm assuming being a journeyman... Uh, with melee automatically helps me do a lot more. Do 31 to 37, so. The weapon itself only does 20 to 25. I'm imagining between my skill and my strength, it's giving me bonus damage. Hopefully it just doesn't let me use better weapons, because that'd be kind of shitty. Look at that troll head. Orcish head. The Orc Warrior's severed head. It's good to know that the crowds of Infernal Greenskins have one head less. Especially since it belonged to an Orc who can crash a head like an empty pumpkin with a single strike. God wants them dead. Love the pictures here. The scalp of an Orc. This is proof that one of the hellish flunkies of the Dark Powers was wiped off the earth in the name of God. I want a journeyman weapon. Journeyman weapon. There it is. 14 to 22. That shit's weak, man. What? 14 to 22? Come on, man. This is 20 to 25. Journeyman weapon. Disciple weapon. Maybe this is a lot faster. I don't know. 
Let's check it out. Look how he holds the sword. Like he's a badass. That's how I hold swords when I kill people. Because I'm badass too. I'm doing terrible at traversing the map. I will kill all of you. I don't think that's much faster. Are there speed ratings on these weapons? I'm pretty much calling bullshit on that. I'm going back to my flail. Oops. You're getting sold, bastard sword. Dog, you want a healing potion? Fill me up, buttercup. Journeyman of weapons. Your priest ain't no journeyman of weapons, bitches. I'm journeyman of weapons. Should be able to attack ten times faster. I should get six attacks per turn now. Pretty soon I'm gonna be a demon lord. I'm gonna investigate this whole area. Getting all the orc scalps I can muster. So this is like a 16 by 9 screen. I think that's pretty much it. Looks like I got it all, folks. Wait, is that the guy's head that I needed? I think that's the guy's head I might have had to give to, uh, what's his face? It didn't look like he was named, so. I don't know. Hell if I know. There's got to be a secret cache here somewhere. Very exciting. I'll be building my uh, other new computer Monday. It's a mid-range computer. I'm actually replacing it. my seven-year-old computer that I was using for Camstasia. Like an attack. I'm attacking this bad one right here. Poison about to wear off. My guy should be immune to poison by now. Checking stumps. Checking stumps. It's pretty cool how uh, esoteric the hidden stashes can be. I guess I'll get out of here for now. We need to find Julian so we can prove Ulfgaard's innocence.
I guess perception would be good for finding secrets, but like I said before, my YouTube subscribers are my perception skill. Back to Hilbrandt. I have a few scalps for Sheriff Contenbury. I just noticed the little lookout telescope there. Very good detail. Very nice detail. You haven't bought this game now and played it? You're fucking crazy. That's $15 I ever spent. Greetings, Knight. Do you have any news about Julian? I'd like to get my reward for the killed orcs. So, you've managed to kill some greenskins, Knight. Good news. There'll be more sent back to hell the less people will die when they attack again. Well, show me what you have. I have an orc warrior's head. Excellent, Knight. It's a worthy trophy. Those bastards are so strong they can chop a man in half with a single blow. As if you were just a withered stick. Here's your reward. I have an orc scalp. Excellent, Knight. A valuable trophy. No kidding. A dead orc is a good orc. Here's your reward. Alright. Turned in our scalps. Um, let's see. Questies, questies. Alright. Let's start from here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We got the Bewitch Frederick. We need all help off guards innocents. Monstrance of Saint Orthenius, Master Edmund of Arsus Sword, Cartholmiers, Apprehending Heretics, Finding Miss Van Galligan. She's obviously a devious little bitch. That sounds like it would be a two quest in one. If I prove Ulfgard's innocence uh, and bring back Julian, I'll actually finish three quests maybe. No idea where the uh, need to find that caravan. Khan Rashgar, yeah, that's the orcish head I need. Didn't get that one. Let's head back out again. Get a few more minutes in for this video. Oh wait, better check my potions. Yeah, better. Oh, I gotta repair my boots. Holy hell, in a handbag. Seek the blacksmith. I'm gonna repair up, grab potions, and I'll meet you back at the gates. Alright, all fixed up here. Talk to Jeremiah. Greetings, son. I heard that you've arrived in Hillbrand to bolster the ranks of Brotherhood of Righteous. It seems that we have put all efforts in the fight to the heresy that is spreading through town. My name is Jeremiah, and I'm an inquisitorial prosecutor. I met with Inquisitorial Judge Valerian. He told me that we are going to work together a lot. Yes, regrettably he was right. I won't hide that I disagree with His Excellency's decision to involve the secular person in the investigation process of a holy office. Have I talked to this guy yet? Your task is to conduct an investigation and gather evidence against heresy suspects. Well, if I talked to this guy already, I apologize. I don't see why he'd still have dialogue if I did. As soon as you have enough evidence to charge someone, come to me and I'll hear your cause. If I find evidence convincing enough, I'll issue a warrant for the arrest, which will enable you to arrest the suspect and hand him over to Sheriff Contabay. He'll imprison him then. If you'd like to make an imprisoned subject to the right of torture, tell the sheriff and he'll prepare everything. Judge Valerian suspect Master Edmund Diavas of heresy. He charged me with acquiring incriminating evidence. What do you think about it? I agree with Judge Valerian. I think that Master Edmund Diavas committed the crimes of which he suspected. It really seems that it was all, well, him who opened the gates to the orcs during the late attack in, against the city. I myself called upon him to fully cooperate with the Holy Inquisition, but he fiercely denied me. I'm afraid that his soul is corrupt, although till now I've never heard anything but praise for him. But the times are dire and people can easily lose their faith. Try asking the people of our town. They could be able to provide you with their testimonies. The truth must be revealed. How long have you been here in Hilbrand, Father? Not too long. I arrived just after the snow thawed and the roads became at least a little passable. 
though it was still a perilous journey. Only those who travel the realm in these difficult times can fully understand the depths of the Christ which is upon us. There are swarms of hellspawn who no longer try to hide from the daylight. Heretics are plotting to carry out their unholy plans everywhere, and heretics thrive as much as the hope of those still believing fades. It's terrible. Could I talk to you for a moment? It's questionnaire time. What do you think about the crisis that is spreading across the realm? What do I think about the crisis? I think God bestowed indeed a difficult test upon us. Maybe the most difficult since the defeat of pagans, and it happened a millennium ago. Sometimes I really don't know what to think about it. If I originally interpreted the Holy Scriptures, I would have con to conclude Day of Judgment is coming, just as was prophesied in the revelations of Saint Ezekiel. The beast is pounding upon the gate of its prison to set itself free and to mesmerize all the nations of the world. The star of doom has risen in the sky. Angels blew their clarions, and three scourges of God fell upon us. Famine came first. A year later came the plague, and this year rained fire from the skies. Evil monsters are rising everywhere, and evil spreads its webs. What else could this be but the signs of the end of the world? Although I could still be sign, although I still do hope that there is an unfortunate coincidence, the only thing we should be concentrating on is the fight against heresy. The decline of faith awakens the sinful thinking in people, and we must stop it, no matter the cost. What monsters have you met here in Hillbrand, Father? There are indeed monsters and hellspawns galore, son. I have myself battled only orcs and giant bats. There are all rumors of half ogres, mountain trolls who came down from the moonshine mountains. Moreover, the surrounding forest are crawling with lethally poisonous giant spiders. And thus, be very careful, my son, should divine providence lead you behind the stockade of town. I heard of the monstrance of St. Ornithius was stolen. Do you know anything about it? The loss of the monstrance of St. Ornithius is a terrible blow, not only for Hilbrandt, but for the entire Holy Mother Church as well. According to the ancient legend from the 3rd century, the monstrance was consecrated by St. Orthinius himself, and was carried to Hilbrandt by the first bishop Albertinus in 339. It became the most valued ecclesial treasure in this part of the realm. It is rumored that as long as the monstrance of St. Orthinius stays in the town, the town cannot be conquered by any army. That's why the majority of locals lose even in the last remnants of hope of survival. I don't think the monstrance to be that powerful. In the ninth century, when the realms was conquered by barbarians, Hilbrandt was overtaken. Am I right? Yes, you're right, son. Though I've read in the DLC and Chronicle that the monstrance was taken out of town when barbarian wars began. It was meant to be taken to Alvaron to help protect the capital of the realm. Unfortunately, it never arrived there and is believed to be lost to the barbarians. Nevertheless, after the barbarian wars, it was miraculously found in an abandoned hermitage and returned to Hilbrandt. Do you know anything about the disappearance of Bishop Quintinus? According to the testimony of witnesses, Bishop Quintinus disappeared during the last attack of orcs against the town. His body was not found. Thus, I assume he was taken by those infernal monsters. But to tell the truth, I don't believe that gives us any hope of rescue. Orcs are most likely cannibals eating flesh of their victims. God protect the soul of Bishop Quintinus. Are there any tales or legends connected to Hilbrandt or its surroundings? There are legends among the people concerning St. Arthenius, whose dawn of our realm defeated all the pagans with the help of a powerful relic. According to the legend, the relic should find its way in the hands of a new protector of the faith in times most dire. He will then stand against all the enemies and will defeat them. It's an obvious example of full creativity to which common people resort in difficult times. Can you explain it to me? Although it is true that St. Orthenius led the faithful armies here in Fekland Peninsula in 223 and defeated pagan empire Erebor, thanks for interrupting, and that it runes served as a foundation stones of Utherist and all the faithful kingdoms, it would be foolish to think that the victory was achieved thanks to some relic, even if it were a mighty one. I don't want to catch, question the existence of such an item, but I think its power was indeed far from the power ascribed to it by folk legend. I came across a curse here in Hilbrand, Father. Do you happen to know how to remove it? What? You're telling me there's someone cursed in Hilbrand by St. Michael? Who could have done something as dreadful as that? It only proves how treacherous and dangerous the local heretics are, son. We must stop them no matter the cost before it's too late. Though I am really sorry to tell you I don't have the slightest idea how to remove a curse. Try asking Brother Dominicus. He's very experienced in carrying various maladies. Do you know anything about the death of Merchant Kurth Holmier? I am rather familiar with the case of the murder of Olmier. I have been investigating it myself. Kurt Olmier was suspicious of heresy, and thus the Holy Office was indeed interested in him. Unfortunately, someone acted faster than us and killed the merchant. I must say that it is very unsettling for the Holy Office. The Inquisition doesn't like its heresy suspects being removed before they can be investigated. Who 
could have committed the murder. I don't know, son. It's possible that it was some self-proclaimed holy avenger who believes his deeds to be divine will, though I doubt it. I'm sure that his heretical colleagues are behind the murder. They were simply afraid he might reveal them. Perhaps they somehow got to know the suspicion and expected us to interrogate Omiya and thus had to remove him removed. Yes, it seems very likely. That's why we must quickly capture Omiya's murders and interrogate them. Do you have any suspicions? No, unfortunately not. The investigation ended in a deadlock. There are no witnesses and no traces which would explain the circumstances of the murder, though I think that it's only a matter of time before we apprehend the perpetrator and question him. Has something uncommon happened here in Hillbrand lately? Recently there have been many events in Hillbrand which would deserve the attention of the Holy Inquisition, son. I am certain that most of them are connected with the reason we are here. Let's say the terrible storm which befell Hillbrand not long ago. I've discussed it with several people, and everyone agrees they've never seen anything as terrible as that. All of them concordantly swear that they saw demons dancing in the sky, and they heard crying and screams as if the gates of hell itself were swung open. I myself don't believe rumors like that, though I must admit I spent that terrible night praying. That was what was happening out here. Really terrible. I'm sure that it has something to do with the activities of the local heretics, who made a pact with infernal powers to destroy the true faith and gain control of the town. That's all. Farewell. And that's all, and farewell to you all YouTubers as well. We'll see you again next video as well. All is well.